Look at these cows. <laughs> Come on guys, you need to move. Hey, settle down. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Look at his hairdo. Look at the fucking hairdo. <laughs> Shit. This sign right here, Wallace 70A, there's a road that comes off of the main road. Right now I'm on uh, Highway 89, south of Winslow. Right here to the left, right here is the section that I like to get off at. This is my section that takes me to where I like to do my filming. It's a beautiful area back here. I like this area because there's actually a there's a cell phone signal out here. It's a phone.
fun area to go to. where we generally like to come look at this snow it's just amazing out here this is so beautiful yeah I got it ready, ready? go get it ready Having fun? Where's the other doggy? Okay, where's the doggy? There he is! Hey! Ready? Ready? Go get it! Well, there's a fire that I made. It's kind of neat when you look at a fire like that and you think, man, I made that off of a ferrocium rod. You know, a single spark from Plumpy E. My brother sent me this ferro rod and, you know, you look at something simple like this and then you look at what's right there in front of me and all the warmth and all the all the heat and all the comfort that it gives you you know and it makes you feel I don't want to use the word proud but it makes you feel like I don't know like you achieved something because you made that that significant thing off of something such simple you know a ferro rod a, a single spark and you can produce something like this you know and obviously you can see that it's we're, we're in the winter time and there's about six inches of snow on the ground and you know a fire like that is sure nice Look at this All the ice caked in Look at that that guy <laughs> Look at these little icicles centrifugal icicles Ain't that a trip when you look down Look underneath This thing just has Ice cake everywhere underneath there. <laughs> My car. Kind of cool. You know, it's not us living in Arizona. It's not every day that we get snow. So when we do, we sure enjoy it. And we come out and we play in it. And look at what it does to our car. It's kind of funny. Kind of neat. <laughs> look at that thing. Caked under there. Crazy. <laughs> I'm too fat. <laughs> you have to sit on it. Oh my goodness. What? Let me try again. Okay. Get old, you can't sit down. And then put your feet up. It worked. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> All right. Okay. I gotta get back to the fire. 
so right now you can see that I have a couple long pieces on there and what what I what the idea is is I put them on there like that and it starts burning at the center and these were buried right here you can see that they're very wet because of all the storm so I put them lengthwise and it just kind of thaws them out a little bit dries them out a little bit and then they break in the middle and then I continue to put the wood on towards the center of the fire and it keeps keeps the fire going works pretty good What are you acting like you're all scared for? <laughs> Look at underneath the car, all that ice. <laughs> That's a trip. It's about pretty, pretty deep for Arizona. Hey, buddy, where you going? There's my grid. There's our fire. We're going to be cooking here real soon. Okay, there's a quick look at the fire. And there's our steak cooking on the racket. Again, we're going to make sure that there's no flames underneath. It's okay to have coals because we need those to cook. But we don't want any flames. You can see that the steak is cooking because you can see the blood coming up. And we've got to be real delicate with our with our racket. We don't want to lift it too crazy or anything like that because it's barely being held together. But they work real good. You ready to go bye bye? Come on, you goober. <laughs> you ready to go bye bye? Let's go bye bye. <laughs>